Hey guys, my name is Brady Greer, and this is my garage gym. Hey guys, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com again, and today we're gonna to be doing another Garage Gym story. This one of my good buddy, Brady Greer. He's not only super fit, but he's got an awesome home gym setup. Before I go any further, I'll let him tell a story. My name is Brady Greer, I'm 26 years old. I'm a elementary teacher at Spokane Elementary. I grew up as the chubby kid in my friend group, um, believe it or not. All my other friends were naturally skinny, and here I was, just a natural, beefy individual. Um, whenever I first got into fitness, uh, I'd say probably my senior year of high school, going into freshman year of college, because I just had grown up with being the fat kid in my group, you know, and I was tired of hearing that. I was tired of being that, um, and I wanted to change it. And I started out, I didn't start out with CrossFit, I didn't even know what CrossFit was, so probably four years after my fitness journey started. I started with P90X uh, back in the day, home gym, so I, I've had a little experience with the uh, home workout life even before this home garage gym. But I went from P90X to playing college uh, athletics, um, to insanity, to you know doing the Corey Gregory muscle farm workout of the day, to now finding CrossFit uh, through a college teammate. So it's been, a, it's been a journey. To be a competitive CrossFit athlete, it takes extreme dedication almost like another professional sport would. It's everything from your sleep, your food, your workouts, what kind of workouts, how often you work out, your recovery, everything put together, your supplements, it's all of it. You can't just go halfway um, in this sport just like you can't go halfway in any other sport. If you want to be good, you really have to put in the time. I currently have a 290 snatch, a 350 clean and jerk, and a 600 deadlift. So a lot of people like to see that kind of stuff on Instagram. Um, and as far as competitive, um, in the Open last year for the North Central, I finished um, 11th in the North Central, so qualified for regionals, that was pretty cool. My best Open finish ever is 10th on 17.1. Um, and then as far as regionals, I finished 29th in 2017 at the Central Regional. I didn't know about this left of the Open, but uh, I was the world's fittest teacher through the Open in 2017, so that was a, uh, a really cool experience and really cool to see. As long as you have a barbell and some plates, you can do a lot of workouts. It's just up to your mindset and your mentality about how intense you want to make things. The best resource for home gyms, if you need any advice on any gear, programs, people, or just anything like garage gym, finish related, garagegymreviews.com, best website out there. All right guys, so this is my, my baby, my pride and joy, my number one gym tool, if you're asking me, um, the Rogue GHD. There's a lot of other GHDs out there, but for me personally, you can't go wrong with Rogue, um, and you might as well get the best one that they have. So this is a Rogue 2.0. I can't oversell the importance of having one of these um, in your garage gym if you're trying to take your training to that next level. Next, I got my, my pull-up bar here. It's a Rogue um, P4, I believe. Um, I like it because of the spacing in between the wall and the pull-up bar to give you room to do pull-ups regardless of which side you like to. I've had buddies up to 250 pounds swinging on this thing, it goes nowhere. Even in an apartment, it's really, really nice. I got my rogue rings here to hang from it. Obviously my ceiling's not tall enough to do muscle-ups, but for ring rows, um, ring planks, ring push-ups, these are top of the line and go well with the uh, rogue pull-up bar. Do I think it's important to use rogue? Yes, I do, because in regionals um, or the games, if you make it there, what do you use? You use Rogue Fitness Equipment, right? So if you're gonna use it at the top level, you might as well use it at your level. And hanging from my pull-up bar, I have my, my ropes, two of them, a regular one and a weighted one. RX Smart Gear is the jump rope brand that I personally like the most. I think they're the smoothest. I like how they spin the best. So I have a ro uh, RX Speed Rope, and then I also have the RX Zeus Rope. Um, it's just a way to jump rope, but it's important to train for if you have regional or games aspirations, or just you're really good at jump roping and you like a, a little bit more of a challenge. Next, we got my Rogue Echo Squat Rack. Um, it's not the most fancy or biggest or largest squat rack you might have seen, but I squat a fairly decent amount of weight, and I've never had an issue with this thing. This thing will hold up to 550-ish pounds, 
on there, sitting there, I can slam it against the J-cups and let it fall down. It doesn't budge at all. It's really good quality and durable. And for the price, it's, I don't think you can beat it. From the squat rack, you can see my, this weighted vest here. Um, it's 5'11 tactical. Again, like we talked about, they use it at regionals. We use it at regionals. They use it at the games. If you're gonna use it at that level, you might as well um, spend the money and get you one to train with in your garage all the time. A banner up there, my name on it. I got a banner right here on this 5'11 vest. I have another one on a wall over there. Um, these are uh, probably the things I'm most proud of in, the, in this gym because you can't buy these, you have to earn these. There's no store to go to, there's no website to Google to get something like this. You have to earn it by making it to regionals. And that's something I'm just proud of to be able to do and been blessed to do one time. Next I have two barbells in here, a guy's bar and a girl's bar. Um, my personal favorite is the uh, stainless steel Ohio bar. The girl's bar I have is your rogue Bella bar. It looks like it's gonna last just as long as this stainless steel Ohio bar. Um, and I don't think for you ladies out there that you could go wrong with a rogue bellow bar. So for my flooring, I just have some basic four by six stall mats laid out. Um, I have a concrete floor in here and it does a decent job of protecting the flooring, make sure it doesn't crack. Um, it doesn't really do much for the noise, but I live in a townhouse with neighbors on both sides. So you're not gonna be able to do much for the noise anyway. So for my, for my plates, I have some Rogue Fitness um, Echo bumpers. I definitely recommend bumpers if you're gonna work out in a garage gym um, as far as noise level and just overall durability. I have two full sets, um, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, and then a couple extra 45s also for my bumpers. I have some actually 50 pound Titan Fitness uh, rubber dumbbells, not Rogue, but Titan Fitness. And these things are wonderful. I just use these for the first two open workouts, 18.1 and 18.2. They do a great job. So like most CrossFitters, I have a lot of CrossFit shoes, right? My favorite ones are probably the Nano Weaves that I have on, the eight. And then also, a lot of you CrossFit faithful won't like this, but I like the Nike DSX Finance. These are probably my favorite pair of shoes to work out in. All right, this is the main room. Now we'll go to the cardio cave. Back here, it's pretty bland, pretty boring. Nothing but work in here. Um, we have a Concept 2 rower, right? No ZBEX rowers in here. Concept 2, it's been a staple in the open, regionals, games, since I've started following CrossFit and even before that. Um, and from everything I've seen, read, heard, it's the best rowing machine you can possibly get. This is where there's a lot of debate on which bike is the best. Um, for me, I went with the one that we use at regionals then with the one that I've seen at the games, which is the Air Assault bike. I've had this for a year and I'm on it at least four times a week and I haven't performed maintenance on this thing one time and it's still working great. Trend in here, so some people would see this as a bit of a challenge to work out in this, you know, grungy looking concrete wall, one light. But I kind of, I, I try to just embrace the challenge of it. Like not a lot of people are gonna work, wanna work out in here, so I'm gonna work out in here. Um, the one piece of equipment I wish I did have back here that you don't see would be a Concept 2 skier. I think it would look great right there. Hopefully we can get one of those in the near future. Um, so as I mentioned earlier in the interview, um, I was a 2017 uh, World's Fittest Teacher through the CrossFit Open. Um, and that was pretty cool. It was totally unexpected. It was not something I intended to do. It was just something that happened um, throughout the Open. Um, so whenever you do this, CrossFit will send you the certificate, and I had no idea about this. Um, and it just came in the mail one day and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I got a frame for it, put it up here all nice, like a plaque. I love it, love it. So the good thing about a garage gym is you can deck it out however you want to. Me, I like to work out under the watchful eye of the goat, Peyton Manning. Must have in here, Peyton Manning. Got my Broncos and my Colts, 18 plaque up in here. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my garage gym. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, for more, comment, subscribe below, Garage Gym Reviews, follow on Instagram, Garage Gym Reviews. You can even follow me on Instagram, at BradyG10. For more, I'd love to answer your questions that you might have or anything that you might want to ask or reach out. I'm here if you guys have any questions. Let me know.